Breaking news tonight, parts of Rexburg are flooded tonight after a fast-moving storm dumped rain and hail. Just take a look at what it did to the BYU-Idaho campus. The MC is completely flooding right now. I'm taking a video. <laughs> And this is video that was sent into us from Christine Dye. This is what it looks like inside the Manwaring Center on the BYU-Idaho campus, according to Rexburg Police Chief Shane Terman. The storm hit about 4.30, lasted 45 minutes. Some parts of the town saw up to six feet of standing water. Now take a look. This is the BYU-Idaho campus right in what they call the Spory Quad. It's like a river is just running right through. This was sent to us by Catherine Q. We appreciate that, Catherine. Wow. Uh, students are standing in the, in the street trying to get across there. You can see some are even uh, trying to ride bicycles through that, uh, that fast-moving water. And others don't even take a chance. They just decide if they want to sit on the steps of the <laughs> Spory building and watch the flooding, let it subside before they go anywhere else. I think I would do the same. A very chivalrous young man here, as you'll see in a moment. Look at that, just coming right down the, like, a, like a canal. Helps a young woman up the, uh, the flooded street. Of course, taking cell phone video at the same time. <laughs> because that's what this generation that's does, right. and boy, do we appreciate them. So much water, dozens of homes, apartments, other buildings have just been flooded. Uh, the campus especially hard hit. Now, the police chief tells us Utah Power is going to cut off power to parts of Rexburg, mainly the Mill Hollow area. That is for safety reasons. Now, take a look here. The Sunrise apartments were, were flooded quite badly, but a whole brigade of students, as you see there, came in with buckets and garbage cans and everything they could to try to get rid of some of that water. Oh, the city has set up a shelter for those kids that might need a place to stay. It's at the BYU-Idaho Center on 4th South, 1st West. And the pictures we've been seeing from the flooding are absolutely amazing. And we have a lot more of them on our website and on our Facebook. So don't hesitate to go to there and check it out. A whole slideshow of pictures that, yeah. uh, that great folks have sent in to us. Local News 8's Tyler Berg is in Rexburg tonight and has been seeing some of this flooding firsthand. Tyler, tell us what you're seeing there. You mentioned a lot of those homes and those apartments that are we're out a lot wet here on campus, and a lot of them are still flooding, and they have these buckets and nails, whatever they pick up water and moving them out of now. Sorry, we are having problems with that feed, and we usually do when we're in the center of the campus like that. But we'll try to check in with Tyler a little bit later. We may be able to get a little bit better feed off of that camera. But anyway, the city working with the county and with FEMA, they're pumping out water as fast as possible. Now, I suspect this is going to take all night. That looks I like an awful lot of water. Uh, I know the campus was closed down for classes tonight, and right. you'll have to check and see what happens tomorrow. It's, it's right during uh, the end of the semester. Is it finals? finals? Yeah. But uh, the police chief also says... How convenient for some. I know. Avoid the water because it could be contaminated. Mm -hmm. Also, we just got off the phone with BYU Idaho. They say, oh, they, they say classes will go on tomorrow. I'm just hearing in my ear, as scheduled. So you're not, you're not off the hook if you have your finals tomorrow. Go to class. <laughs> yeah. Um, unless, unless you're in the Smith building. Right. That Smith. one, you can't. You don't go to class in the Smith building tomorrow. So. They, were, they were hit pretty hard. That's right, the building where that whole canal of water was coming down. And again, we have pictures, a video of the flooding on our website, localnews8.com. So